Ricky Raccoon, not to be confused with the one from Ricky Raccoon Shows Us the Way, or Ricky Raccoon from PB&J Otter. Instead, this Ricky Raccoon is a young treasure hunter who goes along with his grandpa to the Amazon to, well, find treasure. Unfortunately, they don't bring a lot of equipment with them, and their lead isn't giving them a whole lot of hints on where the treasure is located. So to do so, you have to earn money to go after these particular treasures, and what ends up unfolding is a rather standard Match 3 game. You have three styles of Match 3 puzzles in order to earn money, and once you earn enough of that, you then go after the treasures where a few new types of matching puzzles are introduced into the mix. You have ones where you have gold blocks on the play field that you have to match, and if there's a piece of the matching pairs in the gold blocks, they are then destroyed. You have to actually clear three sets of these gold blocks per time of doing this type of puzzle. You have ones where gold nuggets are falling down along with all the other puzzle pieces, and if a gold nugget is near a matching pair, you then collect it, and you have to earn a certain number of these within the time limit in order to succeed. And then there's the ones where you're digging for gold. You have a whole bunch of dirt and rocks at the bottom of the playfield, and every time you match up pairs near the dirt piles, they will destroy, and you can clearly see which ones have gold hidden within them, and you need to uncover a certain number of gold in order to win. You do have a relatively strict time limit, especially if you're a more casual fan of these kind of games. Though there is a relax mode that you can turn on at any point, which will negate the time limit or turn limit, depending upon the style of puzzle you're on, so you can just have a much more casual experience. Once you have enough gold, you'll then be going after the treasure itself, and here you have eight different levels that you must complete in order to nab the treasure. You have some advanced versions of the puzzles we've already talked about included in these eight potential levels, but some new ones are thrown into the mix. One including is you have coins that have the different symbols on them, and if you're able to put them into a matched pair, you then collect the coin. However, every turn that goes by, the coins slowly start to rise, and if any of them make it over the top, you end up losing that coin, and it's a game over, and you have to start the puzzle again. You also have ones where you have a playfield that's not completely full, but if it becomes full, you end up getting a game over, so you have to strategically match up pairs that potentially will have four or five or more involved in them. You also have one where you just have a standard playfield, but you must clear a certain number of symbols within a certain number of turns. Once you complete all the levels for a treasure, you get that one, and then you have to continue earning money in order to go after the next treasure. Thankfully, you earn money during the course of going after whichever treasure you're going for, and you don't lose any of your money. You don't have to spend it in order to go after the treasure. Once you earn enough, though, for the next one, you go after that treasure, and so on and so forth, until you've collected all five treasures in the game. The game has an okay presentation. The little cutscenes that you end up getting for the story are just done with standard text boxes, no voice acting or anything like that. There's some okay music also for the puzzles themselves, but I feel like they're not long enough, and in a game where you're going to be spending a lot of time on puzzles, I wish there was a bit more to them. From the technical side of things, though, the game did run smoothly. I didn't run any major glitching or crashing of any sort. Ricky Raccoon is available now on Steam for $6.99. It does not feature any sort of Steam trading cards or achievements, at least as of this review. Overall, if you like Match 3 styles of puzzle games, this one's okay, but there are a lot of these style of games out there, and I don't feel like Ricky Raccoon really does a whole lot to truly stand out from the pack. However, the fact that the game has a raccoon as its main character at least is a small plus in my book. But other than that, unless you're desperate for a new Match 3 game and you've played them all already, Ricky Raccoon isn't really gonna win you over too big. With everything said, I'm gonna be giving Ricky Raccoon an average 5 out of 10. But anyway, guys, it's gonna wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.